Jake's 100th day of school. Jake's 100th day of school. Mr. Thompson's class was excited. Tomorrow would be the 100th day of school. Every day since school began, Mr. Thompson started class by adding one link to the good morning chain. Tomorrow they would add the 100th link and all the students would bring their collections of 100 things. Mr. Thompson said he had a super, superific surprise planned. A visit from Jake's grandma Maggie. Everyone knew that meant something wonderful would happen. When school was out that day, Jake and his friends chattered about their projects. I have 98 bottle caps, Henry said, just two more to go. My dad and I can drink that much juice when I get home. I'm done, said Douglas. My mom helped me collect the last of my 100 signatures in her office last week. I have 87 paper clips, Emily chimed in. I need 13 more to make 100, and I got those from Mr. Booker in the library today. I'm working on a book of memories, Jake said. I collected 100 pictures of my family, and I've put most of them in my book already. Mr. Thompson was in the classroom very early on the 100th day. He wanted to have everything ready for the big event. Yep, he said to himself, today is the big day. Jake was so excited about the 100th day of school that he rushed out the door to catch the school bus, but he left something important at home. He didn't even think about his book bag until the bus stopped for Emily. When he saw her wearing a chain of paper clips around her neck, Jake felt a flutter in his stomach. When he saw Henry boarding the bus with 100 bottle caps glued onto a poster, Jake felt a lump in his throat. When Douglas showed his collection of 100 signatures, big tears welled up in Jake's eyes. By the time Jake arrived at school, he was surrounded by hundreds and hundreds of things, 100 buttons, 100 marbles, a hundred rubber bands, and sailing all around his head, a hundred paper planes. A hundred cookies, a hundred pencils, a hundred beads and braids, and hanging from a wooden rod, a hundred lucky cranes, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of things. Good morning, Jake, said Mrs. Wadsworth, the principal. Are you all set for the 100th day of school? Jake stood like a statue and looked at her. He couldn't make a word come out of his mouth. He couldn't stop the tears from spilling from his eyes. Did you forget? Mrs. Wadsworth asked. Her voice was softer than a pillow. Jake could only nod his head. Mrs. Wadsworth put, his, put her arm around his shoulders. Come into my office. We'll think of something. Jake climbed into the big chair and Mrs. Wadsworth sat next to him. Could we call someone at home to bring your collection? She asked. Everyone's at work, said Jake, sniffling. Grandma Maggie's not home either. She's getting ready for the superific surprise. Well, let's check around here, said Mrs. Wadsworth. I'll bet we can find a hundred of something. I don't know, Jake said. A hundred is a whole lot of stuff. Do you suppose I have a hundred paper clips in this jar? She asked, lifting it for him to see. It doesn't look like a hundred, Jake said. Besides, Emily is wearing a hundred paper clips. He looked around the office. Mrs. Wadsworth, all you've got in your office is books. Lots and lots of books. I guess we could make a collection of books. Absolutely, Jake, said Mrs. Wadsworth with a smile. One hundred books would make a wonderful collection for a super reader like you. Let's see if I have that many. Jake and Mrs. Wadsworth took books from her shelves they counted ten books and made a stack, ten more and ten more until they had ten stacks. Jake touched each stack as he carefully counted them. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. Wow, Mrs. Wadsworth, that's one hundred books! Together, they rolled the cart of books down the hallway to room 24. Jake added his collection to all of the others. Then he made a sign. 100 books from Mrs. Wadsworth's office. When all the projects were on display, Mr. Thompson told the class that it was time to begin the 100th day of school. 
Mrs. Wadsworth, he said, before you go back to your office, would you add the 100th link to the good morning chain? The morning was filled with even more hundreds. The 100th check was marked on the I fed Goldilocks chart. The 100th knot was tied on the days of reading rope, and some kids took turns sharing their collections of 100 things. Then, around 10 o'clock, there was a knock at the door. When Mr. Thompson opened it, it was Jake's grandma Maggie with someone the kids had never seen. The surprise visitor walked with a wooden stick, stepping very slowly into the room. Good morning, boys and girls, Grandma Maggie said. This is my Aunt Lula. Can anyone guess why I brought my Aunt Lula for the 100th day of school? Maybe it's because of that stick, Henry said. I'll bet there's 100 ribbons on it. Aunt Lula eased into Mr. Thompson's chair and chuckled. Well, you are a very clever boy, she said. I did tie 100 ribbons on my walking stick. But that's not the only reason, said Grandma Maggie. My Aunt Lula is 100 years old. Wow, was all the children could say, and the sound of it swooshed across the room like wind on the playground. Aunt Lula and I are going to help you make a special snack, Grandma Maggie said, unrolling a chart with their recipe written on it. After all the kids finished their 100th day snack, they sat together to hear about more projects. Jake was the last one to share his 100th day project. I made a picture book of 100 memories, except I forgot it this morning, he said. But that's okay, because Miss Wadsworth helped me make a collection of books from her office. She must have a thousand of them in there. I put them in 10 stacks of 10, and if you count by 10s, that's 100 books. Jake, that's an excellent collection, said Mr. Thompson. I know you worked very hard on your book of 100 memories. Would you like to bring it in tomorrow? We'd love to see it. It wouldn't be the same, Mr. Thompson. Tomorrow will be the 101 days of school. Well, you're right about that, Jake's teacher said, nodding. Jake sat thinking for a moment. He looked at Grandma Maggie with a twinkle in his eyes and then whispered something to Mr. Thompson. Good idea, Jake, said his teacher. Grandma Maggie, would you please stand with Aunt Lula near the book cart, Jake said as he headed out the door. I'll be right back. When Jake returned to the classroom with Mrs. Wadsworth, Aunt Lula said, All right, now let's show them some teeth. And Mr. Thompson snapped their picture. The next day, Jake brought his picture book of 100 memories to share with the class, but it wasn't the 100th day of school anymore. Now it was the 101st day of school, and that meant one more page. And a picture that everyone remembered. 100th day of school, me with Aunt Lula, Grandma Maggie, Mrs. Wadsworth, and 100 books.